Don't sneak up on a person okay. on orange alert All day. All right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Just relax, man, relax, okay? Let's go a bit lower. Oh, uh, stop with the lower. Oh, hello, people. Have a great orange alert day. <laughs> the Department of Homeland Security advises you to avoid bridges and to take additional precautions at public events. And please, don't panic. <laughs> now, sing. come here. We're trying to inform the people. We're not trying to scare them. Is there a difference? Yes, there's a big difference. Do you know why the alert went up? Well, it... and why do you think I would have any idea? <laughs> because you're the one who's glued to CNN, fool. You know, why does the government just say what it really means and just make it a brown alert, you know? Or simpler, an Arab alert. Look for all brown men, even Persians who look a tiny bit Arab. <laughs> You know, you're really going to have to understand that people here don't know the difference between Persians and Arabs, and frankly, they don't care. Well, we do in Iran. We care very much. Well, are we supposed to be concerned about your little infighting with your tribes and stuff? Well, we took an interest in your East Coast, West Coast rap wars. We had Tupac and Biggie updates every half an hour on Al Jazeera. Ew, ew, I don't need to see this. Just take yourselves and get a room. <laughs> Preferably in the deep south. Girl, our love don't need no walls, all right? Because it's everywhere. It's flowing and it's growing, and we ain't afraid of showing. She is a poet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, can you finish this one? There's something I just couldn't figure. A white girl who acts like Davis. a... Davis! Whoa! Let's see. You want to get the card? I think that's the big group in from Toronto. Toronto? Yeah, they're going to need help with their bags. No, 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 no. Toronto? Toronto? Yeah, what's wrong with you? What? They could be carrying the deadly respiratory disease, SARS! Are you kidding? SARS is over. Ain't nobody talking about it now. Oh, that's what they want you to think. They who? Them! Oh, God! <laughs> I'll be right with you in a second. You know what? You gonna have to calm down because that orange alert is working your last nerve. Look, 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 some of them are clearly Chinese. So what? what? That's where SARS comes from. They also gave us Mushu and Giant Pandas. Now cut the Chinese people some slack. Okay, okay. Maybe they're not Chinese. Maybe, maybe they're just Japanese. Too bad it's not obvious like the Arab Persian thing. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Lamont Hotel. I'll need a major credit card and a driver's license. Thank you. I see you've come in from Canada. Oh, I just stopped off in Toronto for a few days to drop some things off. Like germs? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm from Hong Kong. Oh. <laughs> Hong Kong? <laughs> yes, now, see, why don't you get the bag? Oh, you know, this morning I, I got a bit of a click neck when I woke up. I, I don't think I can pick anything up. Oh, I'm an orthopedist. Let me take a look. Don't touch me. <laughs> Doc, he's in some pain. Ah, oh, he's no. Do you have a trash can? No, but forget what the hell. Hey, about these crazy little phobias of yours. Oh, my crazy phobias? What about yours? I don't have phobias. Yes, you do. You, you're afraid of elevators. I am not afraid of the elevator. And that's not a phobia, that's an illness. It's called claustrophobia. <laughs> I'm just afraid of being in a confined space with a whole bunch of people who are breathing my air and sucking out my breath. <laughs> Whose briefcase is this? I don't know. Doesn't have a name on or a tag on it. No, no, don't touch it! Don't touch it! <laughs> okay. That's 16 by 14. Oh, my God. That's big enough for serious detonation. Get back, get back. Detonation? What are you talking about? It's a briefcase. Yeah, maybe on a yellow day, it's just a briefcase. <laughs> An unattended package on orange day, there's a strong possibility this is a bomb. A bomb? Jadwiga. <laughs> Did you see anybody leave that there? Try to remember, Jadwiga. This could be a bomb. It could be beautiful leather. If it does not explode, I would like very much to have it for my husband. Look, 
My experience in the militia says that this is the perfect size for what we used to call it the double plastique supreme. The double plastique supreme? Where are you people buying your bombs, Dairy Queen? <laughs> Does our health plan cover prosthetic limbs? Oh, oh, come on now, come on now. Is this how we're living? Are we all just gonna live in fear day after day that we're to the point where we can't even move a little old bitty briefcase? Nassim, move the briefcase. You want out so bad, you take it out. <laughs> it ain't my job. Jedwiga. I heard about the bomb in your lobby. <laughs> you know, Nassim is driving me crazy with this. It's orange alert this, and he's paranoid about that. That car over there? Yeah. That's been in front of my restaurant for two days. It's got a boot on it, Sophia. <laughs> I mean, let's talk turkey. Who the hell wants to blow up my hotel? I want a Grammy. <laughs> Mavis, terrorism is not about you. Terrorists look for opportunities. The nice hotels, they have security. They're organized. <laughs> Talk about the nice... I got a nice hotel. This is a nice hotel. I just mean... I mean the big ones, where classy people stay. <laughs> but your hotel, that's a terrorist dream. It's wide open, there's no security, there's nobody checking who's coming and who's going. You really think it could be a bomb? I heard they found a cardboard box on the Long Island Expressway. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so scared. Oh. So now you know more than the cops? I'm just saying. Look at the facts. You have an unattended package. It's an orange alert, and your terrorist handyman is telling you it's a bomb. I'm going to evacuate my restaurant. If any of your bomb hits my barren wall, I'm suing you. I have a suspicious package. No. Suspicious. No, I don't know what's in it. That's why I'm suspicious. I'll be right with you. Look here. I cannot talk any loud. Because I don't want to scare my guests. You see, I run a hotel. Look, we have an explosive device that could go off at any moment. So get over here now! Checking in? <laughs> now, see that man in the tight jumpsuit right there? He's with the bomb squad. And the way they've explained it to me, they're gonna take the briefcase, put it in a box, and detonate it. Now, they're not sure if it's a bomb yet, but I said to them, hey, look, it's an orange alert day, and my guest means so much to me, I want you to take it and blow it to hell up right now. Once again, will you please get back inside the building? All right, come on, everybody. Come on. Remember to steer clear of the windows. You don't want to block my view. I'm sorry, Rita, but these histrionics are unnecessary. But, Betty, how could you lose something like that? I didn't lose it, Rita. I misplaced it. You misplaced my three-month anniversary present to you, Courtney? Baby, that's like misplacing my heart. <laughs> It'll turn up. It's not a big deal. Oh, that's so wrong. Oh, it's no big deal, huh? I poured my love into that present for you, and it ain't no big deal. Oh, baby, what's happening to us? Sweetheart, there's nothing happening to us. I'll find the briefcase. Mavis, I misplaced Rita's present to me. A briefcase. Beautiful Italian leather, black, about this big. Have any of you seen it? No. Okay, everybody, you can go back to your rooms. That was the good explosion. That's what we wanted. <laughs> on now. What's going on out there? Oh, somebody left a suspicious package around. So they blew it up? Hell yeah, this the Millennium, child. <laughs> you leave something lying around and nobody knows what it is, we blow it the hell up. Damn, girl. Good thing it wasn't a baby. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, uh, lucky it wasn't your new briefcase. <laughs> you know what? You should go find that briefcase before anything else happens. Right, good. I had it when we left this morning. Yeah. Okay. And, and we walked through here. Right. Oh, I hope I didn't set it down outside when I held that cab. I bet that's what happened. You know, somebody came up in here and took it. You know, there's some cheesy people out here. <laughs> Those kids. The ones on the corner who look like gangsters. Oh, baby, it's gangsters. <laughs> gangsters. That's good, baby. We working on the R's. <laughs> No, you right about that. You right about that, because, you know, those kids are always on the corner, and they dance into the, what you call it, that, that hippity-hoppity music. Yes, yes, and they wear those ridiculous pants that expose their undergarments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Showing the crack. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And they got shifty eyes. They huh? certainly do. Little bastards. Yes. I'm going to check this out, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Rita. I'm going to get my briefcase back. You go, yeah. back. Okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Go. Yeah. Yo, Mavis, could I highlight you for a minute? <laughs> How your baby brother's gonna play me like this? You know, I spent crazy Benjis on that Versace bag. I spent so many hours imaging. <laughs> Let me ask you something. <laughs> you know, sister to sister. Do you think he loved me? I mean, do you think he loved me hard? <laughs> yeah, you know, I know you. He said he loved you. He did? Uh-huh. He said he loved you hard. But, girl, no, no, because you cannot believe what a player be telling you. Who a player? Your brother. My brother play... Girl, please. He got to turn the light off to play with himself. <laughs> He is a player, girl. <laughs> no. And he done played me. Oh, no. And you can't tell me no different, Mavis. No, Rita, come on. I... What are we gonna do? This is... What are you... This is your fault. Me, what? All this is your fault. You couldn't leave well enough alone. Oh, it's a package. We must blow it up. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> holla. Are you making fun of my culture? What about your people with it? What's up? What's up? Yo, bitch, yo, 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 yo. Oh. You know the difference between our cultures? My people can spell the words they say. <laughs> and how the hell you spell holla, holla, holla? I don't know. Why don't you look it up in the towel head dictionary? <laughs> you know what? You find Jadwiga and you tell her to get in here and clean this mess oh, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plenty of room. Too crowded. <laughs> I saw that. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, brothers? Amigo? Do any of you know where I can score a case? Yo, I think you're old enough to buy your own bed. Yo, homies, don't make me burst a cap up in here. It's bust a cap, fool. We gotta find this fool's briefcase before he gets himself killed. Come on. Yes, the black Versace briefcase. $895? Are you crazy? I only want one. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not paying that. You know I could go over to Rite Aid and buy a whole set of luggage for $39.95. I don't see what the problem is. Wait a minute. What? What? Which, which Rite Aid is it? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's ridiculous, $895 for a briefcase. If you're stupid, I went to Canal Street and for $20, I bought this Gucci. <laughs> I don't want to bust your bubble, but that says coochie. <laughs> you just don't want me to have nice things. This is crazy. I am not spending $800 for no damn briefcase. You know what? She's right. She's crazy, but she's right. I think we got to go down to Chinatown. <laughs> China... Town? Yeah, Canal Street's in the middle of Chinatown. There's a whole town? 
Why don't you just spray the salzvar that's straight down my throat, huh? <laughs> Listen, you're going with me, and you're gonna face your fears. I, no way I'm oh. going to... Oh, no yeah, way. way. Absolutely way. Because if I can't replace that briefcase, that $895 is coming out your paycheck. Time to face my fears. Yeah. <laughs> Chinatown. It's fascinating, huh? Oh, wow. Look at those dead ducks hanging in the window there. Wow. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of my fourth grade teacher. Yeah? She was Chinese? Nah. Hung herself in a window. <laughs> so, you okay with everything? You're not freaking out, are you? Hey, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. I never felt so free of impending disease. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that, my friend! Hey, uh, why? It's not like your ass know the difference. Oh, look, there they are. Those are the ones. Thank you, God. Miss, I need this bag, but I need it to say Versace instead of Gucci. Gucci more better. $50. No, Versace more better for me. You not know good luggage. You don't know good luggage either. Just give me the Versace bag. Dalo, we go see your new Versace I know what you said. Hundred dollar. What? Fine merchandise, Versace. More expensive this than Gucci. This is the same fake bag. You not find more better. A custom make, special for you. I'm not giving you that money, girl. What you think I was born yesterday? You born a long time ago, lady. Hundred dollar. Fifty dollars, and we can wrap it up. FBI make raid. No like a knockoff. I don't care about the FBI. I cannot be up in here with all you people. I need a cigarette. No, no, I need no, a cigarette. No, no, no. I got no, no. to have a cigarette. No, no, the fire, the fire uses up oxygen. Don't do it. I got to have a cigarette. You want to pray? Pray to somebody, honey. Pray to Jesus. Pray to Bob Dole. I don't care. I don't care. You got to open this door, please. Jesus, open the door. Open the door. Okay, okay, okay. Take a deep breath, deep breath. Oh. <laughs> deep breath, oh. Tell, tell. I'm sorry I took your briefcase. Your sister convinced me that I should turn my life around. <laughs> so here. Well, young man, that shows character. Owning up to your misdeeds. Uh huh. Pop. <laughs> but if you're not careful, you will end up another piece of human waste, clogging up the sewer that is our penal system. I'll be sure to watch out for that. <laughs> you're dismissed. Come here. Don't let me catch your behind around here no more. Get on out of here. Mavis, we just taught that young man a valuable lesson. Right on, my brother. Rita, I found my briefcase. Oh, baby. It was never lost. Some ne'er-do-well absconded with it. Oh, no. I had to strong arm him to get it back. Mmm, baby, you want to strong arm me? Do I have your consent? N no, no, really. I need a yes. No, no return address. We need to call the cops. Mavis, it's a yellow day. <laughs> That's where SARS comes from. Do you know that almost every major flu epidemic of the 20th century the kid came from SARS? The kid from... Maybe they're not Chinese. Maybe, maybe they're just Japanese. <laughs> Too bad it's not as easy to tell the difference between them and the Arabs and your. Whoopee! <laughs> 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 <laughs>